This is how we handle problems. That's what we do to run us, boy! <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Bradford, come on in. Mrs. Tubman's been expecting you. Thank you. Mrs. Tubman, it's so exciting that you're having a book written about your life. I can't wait to read it. Well, child, mine's just the book. At least not the most important one. Don't go neglecting the word of God to read my book, you hear? <laughs> of course, Mrs. Tubman. I have to admit, I should be reading God's word more. I have so many questions about the direction of my life. What I'm supposed to do who I'm supposed to marry, and what God's will is for me. Well, you're in luck, because I'm going to tell you what my mama told me. Take things slow. Let every day take care of its own troubles. And my favorite, don't go testing the depths of the water with both feet. You combine that every day with reading and praying, and you'll be just fine. Miss Tubman, Mrs. Bradford is here to see you. Thank you, dear. Well, me and Ms. Breath has got some work to do. Go on, run along now. Yes, Ms. Tubman. I know I keep saying this, but I'm so honored that you agreed to share your story with me, Ms. Tubman. I really believe that it could touch a lot of people's lives. Um, Where were we? You know what? Let's just go back to the earlier years and start there. Well, I was born by 18, 20, 21. Nobody really knows for sure. They ain't keep many records in them days. None of us could read or write. It was about 200 years after the first Dutch slave ship unloaded the first African slaves in Jamestown, Virginia. We was from Maryland. It was called the Eastern Shore. That was my home, near Bucktown, in Doors, Chester County. My mom and daddy, they were both slaves. We didn't always get to live together, but they tried the best they could to keep us close. Negotiating with Mr. Borges or Miss Patterson, we changed hands a couple times, and every time it was another struggle for the family. There was 11 children in all, I was born somewhere in the middle. My mama would leave me in charge of two babies while she go to the big house and cook. Two of my oldest sisters, Lena and Sophie, were sold down the river when the dreaded Georgia traders came to town one Monday morning. We didn't have no warning at all. It happened so fast. Poor Lena, she left behind two babies of her own because they belonged to Mr. Borders. I never forget her face or the sound of her cries. It was the worst day of my life. It was the day I began to understand my place in this world. 
and it was that memory. 20 years later, when talk of sending me down the river came up, and that I finally knew where I had to go. I had to leave Egypt and get to the promised land. I had reasoned this out in my mind. There was one or two things I had a right to, liberty or death. If I could not have one, I'd have the other. I was free, but there was no one there welcoming me to the land of freedom. I was a stranger in a strange land. If I got free, then they should be free too. I made it my business to work and raise money enough to go back in the winter. God helped me all the way, and I brought my family out and anyone else that would dare to be free. I became a conductor on the Liberty Lines, also known as the Underground Railroad. Always in the winter, when the nights were longer and the people stayed inside. Oh, how I prayed then. I said to the Lord, I'm going to hold steady on to you, and I know you'll see me through. Woke up this morning with my mind, I knew it was set on freedom. Woke up this morning with my mind, I knew it was set on freedom. Woke up this morning with my mind, I knew it was set on freedom. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. y'all come on boys you're telling me the show is dark out here that's because it's night time jimmy and the show is c -c 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 cold out here that's because it's winter time bobby and my 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 my, my kids miss miss tubman they they's hungry they gonna be all right we all gonna be all right but miss tubman our kids they scared and they hungry too Miss Tubman, we can't go back. I want my kids to be free, Miss Tubman. I want them to be like me, Miss Tubman. They gonna be all right. We all gonna be all right. Now, Jimmy, come on. But what is freedom really like, Miss Tubman? Well, Pearl, freedom is the best thing you could ever have now. You got the liberty to do whatever you want. But how you know which ways to go? I follow the Northern style, and if I can't find that, I follow the stream. I could tell which way is north by the flow of the water, but y'all don't you worry about nothing, because I ain't never run my train off the track, and I ain't ever lost a passenger, because God said in his word that he would lead me and instruct me the way we should go. His eyes guide me, and that's my confidence. If God is for us, who can be against us? Well... How many trips you done made, Miss Tubman? Y'all's gonna get us caught out here bumping y'all gums, making all that racket. Nineteen, including this one. And I'll keep making them as long as people want to be free. Lord willing, right, Joe? Miss Tubman, you knows I don't believe in the Lord. I done seen way too much. Well, I pity you, Joe. But you ain't the first passenger I had on my train that didn't believe in him. But I'll tell you what. I ain't never have a passenger leave my train that didn't know his power by the time we got to Canaan land. I'll tell you that. Wait a minute. Joe, you comes all this way and you're not even a believer? That's right, fool. You's heard me. Now, I don't know about old Joe, Miss Tumman, but they done sold my babies down the river, too. Now, I was going on this here journey to freedom, and Lord willing, my baby's going to find freedom, too. Miss Tumman, is you okay? Had it rolling. Everybody down. Not a word. You can run, but you can't hide. Yeah, we saw your tracks yesterday. We knows who's out here. 
Come on out now, and we won't burn the bottoms of your feet. I don't know, Clem. I kind of like burning the bottoms of the feet. Lon, you said in your word that we is the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadows of your wings. Our enemies are all around us, and they surround us, Lord. God, I pray, blind they eyes. Show yourself strong. In Jesus' name, I just pray. Amen. Don't you know what's going to happen if you don't show yourself? Well, they just can't bang and shing your thing air like that. Oh, you're right. I can't. Hey, uh, how many was it this time anyways, Clem? Newspaper said about seven or eight, but I think it was more like 15 of them colored boys. Huh. 15, huh? We're gonna get him, that's for sure. Hey, you know what? Hmm. Oh, Harriet, that boy that we whipped the other day, what's his name? Who, Joe? She went and took him, too. Oh, man. But I'm telling you, this is the last time that's gonna happen. Yep, yep. I, I tell you, we should have used him right then and there. That's right. Please tell me that we're more with your clam. Well, the sheriff just gave me this new point. Okay. See what oh, it says, you know? Sir Richard. Oh, look at this. $40,000 for the rest of Harriet Tubman. Woo! $40,000, Kim. Uh, That's a lot of money. You know what I can do with all that money? Get your teeth fixed. Sure. Clem, why you gonna be about my teeth? <laughs> That's right. Harriet Tubman. Dead or alive. <laughs> well, I think dead is fine with me. Me too. Fine. Well... I think we lost him, Angus. Well, come on, boss. Let's go back and join the others. Well, Joe, looks like God can cover us again. Come on, y'all. Woke up this morning with my mind. I know it was set on Jesus. Woke up this morning with my mind, I knew it was set on Jesus. Woke up this morning with my mind, I knew it was set on Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on and walk, 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 walk. Set your mind on Jesus. Talk, 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 talk. Talk, talk, set your mind on Jesus, Ooh. Come on and walk, walk, talk, talk. Woke up this morning with my mind, I knew it was set on freedom. Woke up this morning with my mind, I knew it was set on freedom. Woke up this morning with my mind, I knew it was set on freedom. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We got to get moving. We got to get to Miss Webb house for sunrise. Hurry, children. Y'all, y'all wait right here. I'm gonna go check it out. Lay low. General Tubman? Is that you? Hey, Miss Webb. We finally made it. Oh, honey, General Tubman's here. She made it safe. Oh, praise God. We've been so worried about you not having heard from you in so long. Oh, thank God you made it safe. Amen. How many has the Lord given you this time? I believe it's 12 souls in total, grown and children. 
I'm gonna go get him now. Come on, y'all. They waiting on us. Lay low. Please, have them all come in. My family will help to feed them. Miss, I don't cut my feet all up, and they so sore. Oh, please come in. I will help you fix your feet. Thank you, Miss. All the provisions are ready for you. You can leave by wagon tomorrow night. We couldn't thank you and your family enough, Mr. Webb. Oh, I just feel privileged that God has called us to help a woman as brave as you are. It wouldn't be possible without the law, Mr. Webb. We all know that. But I got this pastor on my train this time. His name is Joe. I was hoping you could talk some sense into him. He don't believe in the law. Well, I do got to get some wood for tonight, so maybe I can have him help me out and... I'll talk to him then. We couldn't thank you and your family enough, Mr. Webb. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I sure appreciate you helping me with the wood tonight, Joe. It's okay, Mr. Webb. So how's the trip been so far? How's the trip been? Uh, kid, why don't you come on and take some wood inside the house here for me? There you go. That's all right, go on. Trip been hard. Sleeping out in the cold every night. Dogs and patty rollers chasing us. Can't remember the last time we had a decent meal. And that old Miss Tubbs. Every time things get hard, she wants to go talking about that Lord friend of hers. Yeah, speaking of the Lord, Joe, Miss Tubman tells me that you're not a believer. A believer? Mr. Webb, how can a man believe in a God? that allows men to be owned by other men. Beat, whipped, tortured. Wives and children sold out from under her. How can a man believe in a God like that? You know, Joe, the truth is that not every bond is forged in iron, and not every man who is born free is truly free. Now, take me, for instance. You know that there was a time in my life where I was bound by alcohol. I mean, everything that I did, everything I put my hand to, went to that master, that bottle. And no matter what I did to try to break free, I could not get free. I was a slave to alcohol, Joe. Mr. Webb, is you trying to compare your alcohol drinking, moonshine loving, to slavery? Do you see these whelps on my back? That is slavery, Mr. Webb. You know what?
what, Joe? I'm sorry, all right? I, I shouldn't have said what I did. I, I had no right to compare my life to slavery. I just, I, I really don't know what it's like to live that life. But you know, I do know somebody who does. And who is that? Jesus. Here we go with this law talk again. I'm serious, Joe. Do you know that Jesus was sold for 30 pieces of silver by his own friends right into the hands of his enemies? And they brought him into the courts and they, they brought him up on phony charges because they wanted to put him to death, Joe. But they couldn't find anything wrong with him because he was innocent. So first they beat him with rods on his back and on his legs. But that wasn't good enough, Joe. So then they slapped him. They pulled the beard out of his face. They spit on him. They put a crown of thorns on his head and jammed it down into his skin so it bled. And that still wasn't enough, Joe. So then they took a cat of nine tails, and that's a strap that's got nine leather straps on it. Each one of those has got pieces of bone and metal and stone tied to it. So when they whip you with it, it digs deep into your skin. And when they pull it back, it rips that skin right off of your body. And that still wasn't enough, Joe. No, they took him outside. They stripped him down, laid him out on a wooden cross, and they drove nails through his hands and feet. And then they lifted that cross up so everybody could see it. And they still continued to mock him and call him names until he died, Joe. But you know the truth of that is? He didn't have to do that, Joe. Jesus did that willingly for me and for you. Because Jesus knows that the only way any man can truly be free is through that shed blood that he did for us on the cross. I just want to pray for you, Joe. God, I'm just asking that you would open Joe's eyes to the truth, God, of how much you really do love him, Lord. And open his eyes, God, to the truth of his need for salvation, for freedom, true freedom that only you can give him, God. Just asking these things in Jesus' name. Amen. You know what, Mr. Webb? I owe you an apology. Because I sure ain't had no business putting my hands on you like I did. And I really appreciate everything you and your family is doing for us. But you got to know, I don't want your God, I don't need your Jesus, and I sure don't want your prayer. Well, you know what, Joe? I can't stop praying for you. And I'm not going to stop praying for you. Not until I hear that you've bowed your knee to Jesus Christ and accepted him as your Lord and Savior. Now, come on, let's get this wood inside. Wow, Mrs. Stedman, that is amazing. You know, the more you tell me your story, the more I can see how God really did protect you and provide for you along the way. But I'm curious, what happens next? Well, Mrs. Bradford, it was hard. Them show us some trying times. The trip itself was bad enough, but every once in a while, we help slaves that ain't had no faith in God. They was always tough to deal with, but none was tougher than old Joe. We traveled at night, slept in the bonds and cellars of good people, white and black. That was the Underground Railroad. The show was hard traveling through the mountains and the rivers. Sometimes them slaves be so exhausted, they couldn't walk another step. Wanted to turn back. But I couldn't let them. I couldn't let our hiding place be found. Matter of fact, one day, old Joe refused to cross the river. He was just yelling and screaming and acting crazy. Mr. Dubbin, 
I can't do this. Matter of fact, slavery wasn't all that bad. What? Master said he was going to let me take him back to town on the buggy and get supplies. Oh, no. You ain't said nothing about no river. I was going back. You the last one, Joe. You say you want to be free? We well, gonna finish what you started. Dead man don't tell no tale, Joe. You go back now, master, he gonna beat you and beat you and beat you until you tell. And I can't have that. It's too many people out there that still wants to be free. Get your affairs right with God, Joe. Move or die, but you ain't going back. Oh, I'm stuffing, but I can't swim. I might drown. I can save you from the water, but I can't save your soul, Joe. Only God can do that. Come on, Come on Joe. Joe. I'm just scared. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, Come on Joe. It's clean on, did it? It's Come on. It's <laughs> God now, Anjo. Mind your business. Come on, y'all, let's go. How about we go when I say go, Joe? Y'all heard that woman? Like the law said to Joshua, be kind and in good courage. We got to get moving. Lawman on our trail. Big bad Joe, huh? You let that little bitty old woman toss you around. Is she a blind fool? That's a black woman with a shotgun. Shoot old Joe. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. Well, I tell you one thing. I bet we both glad we didn't have to find out. But I do know not Joe, not nobody was about to risk our mission by turning back. But old Joe never questioned my directions again. Lord sure helped him because. He couldn't swim for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that brings me to my next question, Mrs. Tubman. How did you develop such a strong faith at such a young age? Well, my mama is the one who taught us the scriptures. We wasn't allowed to read or write or nothing. And Mr. Borges, he wasn't much of a Christian, so he ain't paying no mind to bring us no preachers or, or nothing. Thank you, dear. So we had to have church in secret, you know? We met in barns and the woods by the riverside, wherever we could. We had a lot of ministers and preachers that came through, but i never forget that old Methodist preacher, Pastor Samuel Green. Come on, sweetie. We just gotta get there. 
I know, baby. It's gonna be all right. We don't got time to waste. No, baby. It's gonna be okay. I know Pastor's gonna make it all better. He's gonna make it better. I promise. Come on. Oh, I swear. If I hadn't gave my life to Jesus, I would have been done poison all day food. I would I would have just killed them all. Oh gosh. Oh. Harry? Harry, is that you? Someone out there? Harriet? Harriet? Yeah, it's me. No, Harriet, put that lamp down. I saw it. You're gonna get us caught by Massa. Mm -hmm. At the May, we're wrong. At the May? It ain't nothing for you to be worried about, child. Mm -hmm. Some wrong. Yeah. At the May? It ain't nothing for you to worry about. Don't worry. She don't look all right to me. At the May? At the May, we're wrong. They done sold her John. Sold John? At the May, I saw her. I saw her at the May. They sold my John. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be help. He's gonna help. He's gonna be here any minute now. It's okay. Oh, well, there you are. Hey, we're going to have to go kind of quick because I saw the paddy rollers and the dogs back there. They're coming, so I just wanted to get with you. And I wanted to bring John his Bible. He wanted to start to learn to read. <laughs> Ethel May, you're, you're not yourself, Ethel May. What, what's the matter? Oh no, not John. Ethel May, no. I am so sorry. What happened? Massa. Massa, he come from out of town. And he took my John. He was screaming, he was praying, but it's like nobody heard him. It's like nobody even cared. They just took him, and now he's gone. Oh, Ethel May, I am so sorry. Pastor, I think we should pray for that, John. Harriet, God's got good things for you. You're absolutely right. Why don't we pray right now? Dear God in heaven, we ask your hand of protection upon our brother, John, that you would keep him safe, Lord, that there would be no harm to come to him. And we pray that the angels uh, watch over him uh, and that you would overshadow him uh, with a covering of your wings. Uh, keep him safe, Lord. Uh, bring him back to his family, to his wife, uh, and to his children. God, we need him here, and we ask you right now, bring him back safely, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Pastor prayed for Betty's husband one time, and he come back just fine. I believe John going to come back. What? Child, don't be so stupid. My husband, my husband ain't never coming back. Don't you understand what happened to slaves? All they do is disappear left and right around here. You remember what happened to Mary's husband, Jacob? Oh, yeah. yeah. They thought he got sold too. He was gone for weeks. And when they finally found him, he was hanging from a tree. And I just, I don't understand why it had to be my husband. The Lord knows my husband did everything Master said to do. He was obedient. He was a hard worker. Not like all them other slaves. All they do is lollygagging in the fields like Thurl Rufus. He don't do nothing but leaves on his shovel and talk about Master behind his back. But you know what? He's still here. And my husband, my husband is gone. Ethel May, this may sound strange, but I'm glad that John didn't run because if he had run he would just be like hanging on the tree they would do that God has a chance to protect and keep them and that's what we're praying for that's why you come down here to the river you want to hear the hope of the gospel you want to hear that Jesus Christ has risen from the dead that we are part of God's plan even though there's all kinds of mess going on, 
God still has a destiny for you, and that's for you to be with him in heaven. And glory to God, your repentance and your prayers, they're going up before God, and he can help us. But there is the scripture where Jesus says, yes, there will be trials and tribulations, but be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. I'm glad you think so, preacher boy. Cause y'all about to have your own fair trials and tribulations. That way, that way. looks like we caught ourselves a Negro lover too. Oh, now get it. Wait till master sees this. Lord, help us, Lord. Help me from this horrible place, Lord. Help me free these slaves too, Lord. You said there's nothing too hard for you, Lord. Help us, Lord. Use me, Lord. Use me, please. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So that's how it all got started. Wow, Miss Tubman. Looking back now, you really can see how God answered your prayers. That's right, y'all. We sure do serve a mighty God. We definitely do. What happens next on the journey? And what about Job? Does he ever come around? Well, Job may have been a hard nut to crack, but the Lord saw to it that the other slaves helped me too. And he may have been a hardcore sinner, but the Lord saw to it that he gave me some mighty soldiers to help get through to me. Joe, you stay to talk about how bad that white man is, but you's got nothing good to say about him, do you? Good? Good? What in the hell is good about a white man? You sure you want to talk about this here now on Empty Stomach? For your information, fool, my stomach ain't empty. How's that? Fool, you know why. Cause I was just ate. We all just ate. How's that, Joe? Is your mind bad, fool? Mr. Webb just fed us. You mean that white man, Mr. Webb? Mm-hmm. So is one good white man out there. Well, what about the ab 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 abolitionists? You mean the abolitionists? Yeah. Yeah, Joe. What about the abolitionists? What about them? Like William Lord Garrison, Harry Beecher Stowe, and some of the men even fought for us, Joe. Like that man John Brown. He killed five slave catchers. And when the lawman caught up with him, they hung him like he one of us. And w w what ab about the, 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 the Civil War? You mean the Civil War? <laughs> yeah. Th th that's what I said. Days ain't dying for me. You know who Anthony Johnson is, don't you? Anthony who? Anthony Johnson. He was the first slave owner in the state of Virginia. And he was black. Probably blacker than you. You really think you know something, don't you? Joe, I see what the problem is. You so blinded by your sin, you still hate the white. That's why you can't see past that white man's skin, Joe. Seems to me it's a whole lot to hate. You know it's little Johnny, don't you? What, you talking about Master's son? Yeah, Master's son. Well, Master didn't have his way with I's mama. That's how Charlotte and I got here. And that's why I work in the big house. What Master don't know is, little Johnny, our half-brother, he didn't taught us how to read. And we just read plenty. And that's why as we know all this stuff, Joe. Oh my gosh, Joe. You so know how to read. 
I know they're nothing but black letters on, on a bunch of white papers, but in your mind, you can see those beautiful blue skies and those birds that fly in it. Oh, and those butterflies, they're so colorful. Yeah, Joe, Jimmy's right. They some good white folk out there. Bet you didn't know, out of 5,000 lynch, a thousand of them were white folk. And they were trying to help us. White folk ain't the first to have no slave. Well, you's then your high yellow sister. Mighty red plenty. But I's done seen plenty. And I's done seen how we's been whipped, tortured, wives and children sold out from under us. How we been hung like slabs of beef from trees. Matter of fact, that man that should have been your daddy, I seen them hang him. So you ask me, the only good white man is a damn white man. Hey, hey, unhand him. The white man, the white man, the white man. The, 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 the African speaks. What you got to say, Kunta? My name is not Kunta. My name is Baba Tunde Agunwande of the mighty Abbas tribe. My father was a mighty warrior. And his grandpa, my grandfather, Chief Agunwande, conquered both the Asa and the Igbo tribes. And you know what, Joe? He sold them both to the Portuguese slave traders. And not only that, he sold his very own people, my father and me. Nobody made him do that. That came from the greed of his own heart. That's how I got to this plantation. I made my way down to the river. And I heard the white man speak of his God. And it was at that moment I realized that he's not just the white man's God, but he's everybody's God, Joe. Because Jesus is God. No matter what happens to us, Joe, freedom is a matter of choice. I can choose to be bitter at the white man. I can choose to be angry at my grandfather. Freedom is a matter of choice. And if you are a slave today, that is because you choose to be a slave. <laughs> now you are brainwashed, Kunta. Y'all gonna get us caught out here with all that racket. Mr. Stillman, how come we got to go all the way to Canada? How come we just can't go to Philadelphia and change the names or something? Because I can't be trusting nobody with my passengers. We got to go clear up to Canada. But first, y'all need some rest. This looks like good enough place as any. Lay down. This may be the last time this may be the last time children this may be the last time maybe the last time i don't know well maybe the last time we're all pray together maybe the last time i don't know and maybe the last time we're all sang together Maybe the last time, I don't know. This may be the last time. This may be the last time, children. This may be the last time. Maybe the last time, I don't know. This may be the last time. This may 
be the last time children this may be the last time maybe the last time i don't know There she is. We got your guy here, you coming. This may be the last time. This may be the last time, children. This may be the last time. Maybe the last time. I don't know. to make you meet your maker. Might as well find your place on the whipping block, boy. Hey, matter of fact, whipping's too good for you, boy. I'm gonna go back and give me a rope for your neck. All right, Angus. I'm gonna go get the sheriff to get that reward money. I want you to keep a good eye on these here slaves. Don't let them escape. Especially this one here. I'll be back. Don't you worry, Cliff. I got them covered. I swear if one of these colors Try to run away again, I'm gonna blast a hole in one of them. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Whoo wee, Miss Moses. We finally caught ya. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get my hands on all that money. <laughs> oh, I can taste it. The tobacco, nah. Oh, I ain't even had that moonshine. <laughs> you may have taken our freedom, sir. There's one thing you can't take, and that's our joy. Your joy? You can keep your joy as long as I get some of my money. You hear? You know what, y'all? Let's praise the Lord. You heard me now. Let's praise the Lord. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind. What's your singing for? Don't you know you're about to be hung? Stop that singing! Stop it, dang it! 
So God's children, sir, to live is Christ and to die is gain. So you do what you got to do. Do what I got to do, huh? Do what I got to do. Oh, I've been waiting for this way too long, Harry. Pick a But he didn't, Joe. And if you was to do this right now, you ain't no better than he is. free yes he set me free he broke the bonds of prison for me i'm glory bound my jesus to see glory to god he set me free he set me free yes he set me free he broke the bonds of prison for me i'm glory bound my jesus to see glory to god he set me free <laughs> and his whole zoom is leaves. They're fifty thousand. <laughs> slaves! Where'd they go? 
my feet are going. I don't know what to do. Clem's going to kill me. He's going to follow me. i got to figure out something quick. Quick. Think, Angus. Come on. Think, Angus. Think. It's all right. I'll do it. Yeah, 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 I'll give it away. Yep, can't believe me this time. Mm hmm. Yeah. Angus! Clem? Clem? Where you at? I got the snare! Yeah, is that you? Oh, Clem! Yeah, Clem! Clem! <laughs> Clem, I'm so happy to see you. Hey, where's the slaves? Uh, uh, if you gotta listen, so I, I turned around and I thought there's a bear in the back of the woods. And I, as I turned around, I went back to the slaves and they, they jumped me. They jumped me, Clem. I lost the slaves, okay? A bear? I don't see no bear tracks anywhere. You lost our money. Good old Clem. Paul and Silas bound in jail with no money to forgo their bail. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on, hold on. Paul and Silas gave a shout. The doors flung open and they all walked out. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, keep your eyes on the prize, hold on, hold on. Wow, Harriet, you had to endure an incredible amount of trials along the way. But what is everyone's response when they realize that they've finally reached the freedom that they journeyed so far for? Well, Mrs. Bradford, sometimes them slaves be just so tired, they just want to go back. But I couldn't let them. I couldn't let our hiding place be found. Not when we were so close to freedom. Canada, the promised land, that's what we call it. When them slaves get across that bridge, they be singing and dancing and praising the Lord. We almost there now, y'all. I don't know, Mr. Tubman. You can say it that plenty of times now. Is that it over there, Mr. Tubman?
Is that you looking all long in the face like a horse in the stable? Ah, it's free now, huh, Miss Tuck? Mm-hmm, you's free. Ah's a free man. Mm-hmm, you's a free man, Joe. I can own my own field now. Yeah, Joe. Have your own field now. Grows what I want to grow. No more getting beat. Mm -mm. Whip. Wiping children sold out from under me. So, Miss Tubb. Mm -hmm. If I was a free man now, uh -huh. how comes I don't feel free? You ain't truly going to be free until you give the law your whole heart, Joe. Here you go with that law talk again. You don't want to hear it, but that's the truth. You ain't truly going to be free until you give the law your whole heart. Mr. Tubman, I don't know nothing about giving the Lord my heart. Well, guess what, Joe? You ain't truly going to be free until you do it. Please don't want to hear from me. Joe, the law want to hear from everybody. Joe, you need to pray. I don't know how to pray. You know how we talking right here? That's how you do it. That's how you talk to the Lord. Well, you just don't understand, Mr. Tubman. And what don't I understand, Joe? I blame the Lord for my wife and children being sold. You can't blame the Lord for people's being people's, Joe. They gonna do what they want. Well, what would you say to him, Miss Tubman? Joe, I can't tell you what to say to the Lord. The Lord hear from me. But he want to hear from you, Joe. He want to know what's in your heart. So speak to him. Miss Tubman! Miss Tubman! I know you hear me, woman! Joe, pray to the law. Law, I know it's been a long time since you've heard from me. And I really don't know what to say to you now. Because, Law, my heart is heavy, Law. My heart been heavy my whole life. Lord, I've been a slave my whole life. So many things I just don't understand. How these men just beat me. Beat me. Tortured me, Lord. And I couldn't understand how you could let something like this happen to me. But then I hear his Mr. Webb. Ah, yous was beat worse than me. And yous ain't did nothing wrong. And you was beat for me. It seemed, Lord, you to forgive me. I has got to get in. And I just don't know if I can do that. I just don't know if I can forgive them for all they did. But 
God, if you help me, you help me, Lord. I, I forgive him, Lord, but I need your help. But it's going to take you, it's going to take you, Lord. But Lord, without my wife and my children, not my wife and my children, Lord. Oh, Lord. You can take this pain out of my heart. You can take this hate. I can't do this. I need you. I need you to take this hate out of my heart, Lord. And if I got to forgive him, for you to take this hate, I forgive him, Lord. I forgive him. Lord, I pray you forgive me. Forgive me. Come in my heart. And I give you my life. I give you my life, Lord. In Jesus' name. He heard you, Joe. You know what, Miss Tubman? What's that? I feel free now. I was really free. Well, praise God, Joe. And I can't thank you enough for helping me get free. And I could have got a whole lot more slaves free if they only knew they were slaves. Mrs. Tubman, I just have one more question. With everything that you've been through, all the things that you've accomplished, all the people that you've helped, do you have any regrets? One, that I had helped more people gain their freedom. Mrs. Bradford, I freed a thousand slaves, but I could have freed a thousand more if only they knew they were slaves.